There's not a single day that passes Without you on my mind Not even one minute can end up Before you come around I hurt for the days when I see your face You before me I hope for the time to tell me in your arms Whoa. I wish that you were here To give me everything I want But I know that life's a everybody happy easter i think not i think this being the easter week and i am an easter baby i'm just happy to be here how are you guys doing welcome back to my channel my name is lizzie lizzie was gone for like a month but i am now back i was gone because i had exams and um eh, zimini peleka a friend of mine asked me, what, what do you do no, What do you normally do at the wee hours of the night? Na kuna ngas online sana na usiku. Satisa unafanya nga nini? And I'm like, the time you're sleeping, the time you're awake, I'm sleeping because I have been, uh, do you call it nocturnal people? Like, I've not been sleeping, but here I am. I went for an, for like a month, like in to me, Rudy. Already fully, fully because today is on 3rd of April. By the time this video is going up, it will be 4th on my birthday. I'm a 4th, 4th baby. But I took a second floor, like in Karibu to Natoka, to Kombali Sana, to round off to Nafika third floor. Oh my god! Oh my god! Anyway, so this year, this year's birthday, I just wanted to appreciate myself and my people, and including you out there who is watching. You out there who is a subscriber, you out there who is a supporter, you out there who is a lover, a sweetheart, a brother, a sister, a granny, an aunt, a niece, a cousin, a colleague, a friend. Yeah. I just said I'm a lover, so I, I believe I don't have haters. And if you're one of them, then no, me with energy, you sinner. So, tomorrow is on 4th, but I will not be able to do whatever I wanted to do. So, allow me to work it here. Because these are like my memories. Sometimes you do videos on YouTube to create memories. And not sometimes, I think it's always because I'll go back like I and I'm like, I did this video such a time. Last year I did my birthday and um I was in love. I did my birthday last year with a couple of friends. To live in Mahali. To a keki. The other year I did my birthday with one of my best friends, a brother. I literally died know that was the last birthday. That I go to celebrate with him because he kept on reminding me in the next two years I'll be here and I'll be I'll be here and I, I, no one saw it coming actually honestly nobody saw it coming so at the end of the year I we lost him and it always reminds me of how important it is to treasure somebody's moment in your lifetime I treasure that because. I was among the last people we interacted before he went to be the Lord. And I know he's watching us because he was like, Ukifikisha hii mwaka, nita kumfanyia hivi. He was such a brother. So I lost him. That was 2021, his birthday. 2022, of course, with my friends and uh, the whole crew was around. Just except few that were not around. But uh, we got to celebrate. <laughs> For those who, who, who are with me in the birthday, hi! I don't regret anything. This year's birthday is different because um, I, I, I was like, I think the more you grow, the more you just change some things. Because, I mean, I, mean, I, I think I've grown. <laughs> yeah. So this year's birthday was supposed to be, just, we were supposed to go somewhere, bowling, just have fun with friends. And then, oh, tragedy. Life. You know, you never know. Unapanga, na mungu nae anapanga. So, along the way, my best friend lost her nephew. And of course, everything just scattered. So, you were affected. I was affected personally. Because it, it is just, it is just so hurtful. And uh, at the same time, I have an exam on Wednesday, which I haven't yet completed equal Wednesday so I thought of we're supposed to go for a shoot actually she made my portrait here and um you're supposed to go for that shoot we have just photos I mean you know 
once in a once in a lifetime change your profile pictures look good you know that was the whole plan but again that one is yet to to be confirmed if it will happen but uh, being alive itself it's a blessing and um maybe i am a first one and my birthday always um it is always emotional to talk about my birthdays because my mom always reminds me of how i fought you fought for your life i'm a firstborn but in reason i couldn't be a firstborn because my mom had um you know okay let me just try to reverse this story and it's emotional sana my mom lost her first child you know the worst thing is you getting pregnant carrying the pregnancy for nine months and then delivering a stillbirth stillbirth means a baby dies in the womb so atabidi ametolewa ama tatoka alafu akufe you see it, it is the worst thing a mother could go through any parent not just a mother but baba mama watatakuwa affected that is what happened with my parents and i am to believe by the time she was still young i hope one day i'll do a story with her about the, the whole of this thing and how she recovered because it is a heavy thing to carry so that was my first born our uh, at my our first born this year she could be 30 so manzi ni kwa system kopo i could be like oh god enda kwa system because me me being a first born manzi it comes with a lot on your back and uh, i just thank god i've had that grace to carry on na vitu zimekuwa zina flow tu i mean zime flow tu zime flow tu so that was it and then came mercy um, mercy i did my a video of how why I was why my mom called me mercy mercy means is it huruma you're merciful like wanna, is it is mercy huruma in swahili i don't know but anyway mercy was me me is mercy mercy is me so mercy came as a pre pre baby mercy was put in an nibu newborn intensive care unit for some time mercy fought for her life for her life Masi came, of course it was a preterm, ma. if you're a mother, not a preterm is, uh, and if you're not, please just Google. So, Masi really fought, and Masi made it, and Masi, Masi gave her mom motherhood title. So, those are the things my mom always reminds me every time. So after Mercy came another sister because we, we we were in this was supposed to be four girls four beautiful girls but you are two So another sister came um another stillbirth and uh oof, para what is it para 3 plus 2 gravida 5 I can miss out please come on give me by please okay parity always confuses me <coughs> but I think three lives um two zero, two two deaths and five pregnancies yeah i think i think i got it right so another sister came and uh, never made it so it is only mercy who made it now it is that one me and then so i i made it in between there so my mom always tells me you fought for your life and you gave me motherhood title so come and see where i could have carried my my pregnancies in the 90s with no baby because my brother and my sister came in the 2000s and what to our juicy January table so my birthdays are always special very they, they remind my mom a lot my parents because i'm just an apple i realized my my mom has saved me daughter my dad has saved me my apple and god god and there's you there serving me flanny flanny out there please I am loved so that is how i came to be and um uh, i have fought when 2020 covid happened in 2019 partly things just escalated things never went so well on me in uh that time i think i'll, I'll find that photo that time i lost weight because i was battling i don't know if it was ptsd I don't know if it was yeni nilikuwa na mavituko mingi and it, it got to a point I was taking chlorpromazine until I realized na cheese 
because a lot was happening that time. When I went home for a wedding, uh, during 2019 December, I went home for my friend's wedding. I didn't want to be part of this wedding and I never told her I don't want to be part because she really, she really wanted me to be part of the wedding. And that time I was battling a lot. I had lost my job, I lost a house. Uh, the relationship that I was in was, oh God, I cannot call it toxic. Like, in here, I come here, I come here, I come my God, I come here. It was that year. So, when I went home, I have like a good daughter who looked at me, but then she was five years, and then she asked me, Masi kwanini umekonda? Because by that time I was 41 kgs. Was really terrible on me, so I was 41 kgs. Stress ya mapenzi, mimi sasa. Nupata zakazi, sina nyumba, toxic relatives, because my own aunt took me through hell, and I was like, ata nilalenja, I better let sleep in the rooftop than go back, because I saw it all in 2019. 2020 came, COVID came, and so we 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 to yoga, took a hill. My shake and the light in 20 corona. Come and see COVID, things are okay, but COVID came. When I went home for that Christmas, my mom asked me that three things she told me. Why are you thin? Why, why have you slimmed? Are you heartbroken? Are you depressed? I told her, I told her, I told her, I told her, because I'm not just okay. My sleep pattern is not okay. Wait, ngozangu. And during that wedding, I remember, mfundi alisema, ingo ni amtoto ama ni amtumzima. Like, whose dress is this? These measurements are not even working. He tried fitting that dress last year. Ata ipiti kama goji. That is God. Amen. So I cut a lot of weight and I cried because of the relationship. I cried a lot. I cried, I cried, I cried, I got thin. And my mom reminded me, do you know you fought for your own life? Because if you gave up on yourself, and when you see a baby in the NBU, these babies are fighting for their lives. You fought for your own life. You fought for your survival. Because if you could have given up, if God could have allowed you to give up, if God could have allowed it to happen, you could not be here. So these are just vitus of dunia. Can you just wake up? Focus and how many heartbreaks will you cry over? I was like, okay, okay, sit So 2021, 2020 finished. We battled COVID, of course, COVID it affected almost kill them too. I cannot say it was on me, but of course, it was bad because you wake up, you're being told, Kazi, Chitofanya Nini, any Ilikongum, like any minule de Mone, Nahanga too, Tajituma, I'm go get her, I think so. Yes, I am. So, because I did, 2021 came, 2022 was all, all was okay. All was okay until last year. And I did a video on that until last year around, uh, but last year I, I, I saw those signs coming. Ushika kwa mahali kwa kazi, but you feel too like a place. Yani, hauko sasa sabu kuna so many, kuna vita mingi, vita, 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 vita. There were so many fights. Because of one or two reasons I'll talk about later. So, vitu zikenda hivo, ikafika October. I got fired over, over a reason that I've never, like, it was just something to, and when I got fired, uh, I'll not say it into details, but I got fired. It didn't affect me as much because I was mentally prepared for it. I saw it coming. So, how you can affect Sana? I went home for Christmas. Um, then coming back, 2023. Uh, 2022, 28th December, we visited. I really visited a lot of my people, because when I have not seen your people, so it was like, okay. I had seen my grandparents after a very long time, so I had, we, had, we, we like had planned on seeing them. So when you went there, it was all lovely, and there are some things my grandmother told me, mother to my dad. Huh? She told me, because I had planned the whole thing, she told me you'll never lack, no matter how hard it, it's going to be, you'll not lack, and uh, may you find love. 
and that time I, I knew I was in love. Yeah, back in my mind I knew I was. Back in my mind I knew I was. That is why I'm saying this year it has this birthday I've reflected a lot. I've I've done like self reflection on a lot of things that maybe I did wrong. Maybe I did right and they were never appreciated. Or maybe I overdid. I was over expected. Expectant. I expected a lot. So for the first time because I knew twenty twenty three it's going to be that year that things will just fall in place until things happen the way they happened. So my, both of my grandparents, of course, me, me I'm, a, I'm the eldest granddaughter. My dad is a firstborn, so with that, of, of course, I have cousins who are older than me, but me and cousin I'm stand, I'm kubwa. Yeah, I can say that, because my dad is a firstborn. So when the year started, I really had, a, not like a lot, but I knew this is it. I knew, when I say this is it, you can see two blanks. So when the year started, why? It was Leander, it was Leander. I cried, I cursed, I asked God why, I had a lot to question myself, did I do wrong, did I do what, and like on my next, on my next chapter of life, I don't want to do this, I, I can't say what I don't want to do, I want to do, but of course I went to the prayer, I, I went for the prayers at the VRC, the Ascension, and I told God, for my birthday, Allow me to love more. Allow me to forgive more. Allow me to just bring me genuinity. They want to like genuinity. Bring me genuine. Because baby girl has seen it all. And now that I can sit here and talk about my birthday, of how far I have come, of the struggles I've gone through, of the, of maybe of the disappointments, of maybe the failures, the achievements, all in all, I just want to thank God because I'm alive, I'm healthy, and um, that is all I have to be grateful to God. For my friends, I did like a small, I think I'll be able to, I can't start mentioning you, but when the year started off badly, hey, I was like, I was I could call, I could cry, why are these things happening this way? I was expecting this, I was doing this. Why is it happening this way? And of course my best friend would be like, it is okay, it is well, it happened, the way it happened. Don't regret. Just forgive you know, and ask God for your next chapter. Let him just guide the right people. Because you might be doing exceedingly abundantly hey you're near bible <laughs> i believe that this year is because you only dedicate like you know you go down you write your prayers you know like god for this birthday just allow me to do to love more to find genuine like genuine is all i'm asking because you can someone can show you how they are genuine but because Oh God, is that any gift you can control? I want to do this, I want to do this. And then you think like, okay, whatever could have, have allowed this thing to, to be done? Could it, it could have been worse than how it is right now. So for the birthday, for the new year in me, was I think it's now I'm turning 365 days. I'm finishing up my 365 days. I'm, I'm starting my whatever my day one of 365 days because today is 365 over 365 tomorrow is day one over 365 so i just have to, to to ask god for a couple of things genuine forgiveness happiness good health prosperity success Long life to my parents, the amazing friends I have that really held me down the most when I, when I really needed someone at the beginning of the year. So I think that is a message to myself for my birthday and just want to say thank you for the wishes. 
nilianza kuosha kitambo kuzipost thank you so much for the wishes and um love love is on a massive for because i think i gave too much i give too much of love and sometimes it can hurt when you do that but regardless we will never stop giving love so be back in it me yeah thank you guys for watching and um you got to subscribe like comment and turn on the post notification i love you so much and don't forget to so until then that this way is out and have a lovely lovely day lovely time of your own and see you in the next video bye